Well, you know, as the old saying goes, or maybe it's just my saying, anytime you want to do something, you got to do something else first. Like clean up what you were doing last night. Which, I'm really bad at doing that. This is left over from uh, nickel plating the axles for, uh, no, not this guy. It's a black car like this, but I was doing the axles. Yeah, I didn't even take this apart. But, um, and what's this guy? All right, so anyways, I wanted to show you. I don't think I ever showed you this. The hell? There goes Rockzilla. <clears throat> He's still looking for a Cooper out there on his way to Denver. No. Now he's going to Wichita. I think he got his bearings straight. Let's go check, take a look at that. I know he's out here somewhere. As I, I heard him. Yep, there he goes. Oh, crap. He's going out in the minefield. He's still looking for a uh, Cooper. Nope, I'm guessing it ain't out there. Well, let him keep going. You know, the Cooper that messed up Chuck Norris. Now, I'm kind of worried about this because, you know, Chuck Norris doesn't do push-ups. When Chuck Norris does push-ups, he pushes the earth down. So if there's a Cooper out there that can mess up Chuck Norris, oh, that's not good. I, if Rockzilla ever finds him, <laughs> I hope the best for Rockzilla, but you know, I don't think Rockzilla can take Chuck Norris. We're going to find out someday. So, we're back from uh, watching Rockzilla go after uh, Chuck uh, Cooper that tore up Chuck Norris, damn it. But, you know, I just saw an ad. He's, Chuck Norris is doing better than ever. Follow these simple rules. Yeah, okay. I don't think I ever showed you guys these. I got a set of four now. Uh, Hot Wheels, tattoos. I think. I think. We, yeah, tattoo machine series. Here's one of four. Look at those flames. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Whoa, what was that? A big butterfly. Ah, oh, crap. You know what that reminds me of? I am legend. The guy does the uh, butterfly thing at the very end. That was a effed up movie, man. Do you see the gas prices in that movie? They were that, that, that high or higher in California during, you know. In Bay City, Darrell, you know what I'm talking about. Seven. 20 something 790 whatever a gallon however okay so there's number one of fours you know where that's going and damn right in the car case the car case all right we snapping that bumpy up there yeah, let's see here all right I'm doing something wrong. Where's the click? The snap. There it is. There's one. Car number two. Where's car number two? Oh. What was this guy? Where'd I put him? 
uh, 57 T-Bird, by the way. Sorry. 93 Camaro. Oh, yeah, yeah. 93. Man, what's on the inside? What's that white thing there? Roll cage? Something in there. All right. Number two of four. All right. Yeah, that's a roll cage. A net. Alright, need a car case. And it is hot out here. The heat in this is like 105 still. And it's like 5.30 p.m. South Carolina. Ain't that right, Flip? Still hot. I didn't hear a click, but it's on there. Alright. Three or four. Oh, wow. Let's see. What's number three? A Stutes Blackhawk. Now, I got one of these from RSI, Redline Salvage Inc. Old, old one. This is a remake, man. And it's black. But uh, he told me, he sent me like a dozen old old cars I mean originals this is not original but um this is the car Elvis Presley drove I never knew that and I did look it up I think I did I think it was a different color but anyways here's the Stutes it's three of four three of four cars all right, in the car case it goes. Now the last one, my favorite. Here's here's my favorite. Oh, it's a Corvette Stingray. Yeah, baby. You know, but it doesn't say what year it is. But it's a C3. It's my favorite. Let's see. I got plenty over here. Yeah. Corvette Stingray. This is the guy. It's really hard to take the paint off. And then when you do finally get the paint off, the body's all effed up like woodworms went through the damn thing. But yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, ain't that a puppy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where that's going? In the car case. All right, I can do these all by myself. That damn Rockzilla is still going around there somewhere. He's, he's out there. Let's put these in the car case all night long. You know how this works. So uh, it's like 105, feels like. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in if you're new. Hey, I really much appreciate it. If you're not new, well, thanks for tuning in again. And then, uh, where's that car I was working on? Oh, yeah, this guy, this guy right here. Yeah, yeah it's a Jaguar. It's supposed to be electric. Looks like a bird pooped on him. But, um, yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, it's a USB port. Well, you gotta charge them somehow, right? <laughs> what? What? Character? Oh, oh, character. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotta get into character. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you gotta charge them somehow. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> We're not done with that puppy yet. Uh. Yeah, you might be noticing this. As I was working on stuff for this, I had the bandsaw running and stuck my finger into the bandsaw. Um, it could have been a lot worse. After I just got a nick, okay, just a nick. It didn't even hit the fingernail yet. After that, I said. I'm not paying attention 
I quit. I'm done. I just wanted to do a couple things real quick. Uh, lost concentration, trying to get... So I, I called it quits. And I think there is something up above with the higher power because I felt something pull my hand back. I mean, I went to get a piece of extra off the saw and my finger just went in there and, and just hit it and I don't remember pulling it back. I don't. It just came back and then I felt the pain. So don't tell me there's not a higher power up there. I believe there's something. I got an angel around me somewhere. And people call it many things. So I thank my lucky stars. Uh, okay. There's a reason they say stars. So yeah, it's, it's a little nick over here. I mean, if I if I concentrate on it too much and think about it, I, I'm really scared. I got much more respect for power saws. I've always had it all my life. I grew up with power tools with my father and my great uncle, my dad's uncle. And uh, so yeah, there's yeah the bandit kept falling off today. So you know I work in electronics, so there's electronic tape around. <laughs> Keep it from falling off till I get home. Well, I'm home, and now I'm out here sweating in 105 degrees. We're ending this video. But, yeah. Please be kind to one another. Everybody needs help once in a while. So do I. Thank the dear Lord. Amen, hallelujah, and have a good night, and thanks for watching.